I have a plan. Stop him. This kid is patient, he has extreme punching power, and he has speed and time and he is dynamic. You know, this kid is the Are you ready? There are the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, We want the best to fight the best. Stop ducking and dodging. Mm. I understand that you can fight this guy over here that has no chance of beating you for 10 million. But go on and fight them big dogs for 20 million. Yep. Get that bread. Mm. This this is it. This Skip, think about it. We've had uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis, Fire Ross, Ryan Garcia. Uh, Haney just fought uh, Lomachenko. He did. Oh, Lomachenko. Are we good? Yep. This, this, Skip, this is how it's supposed to be. I remember when Hagler fought Hearn. When, ha I, I when, when, there. when Hagler fought Sugar Ray, Tommy there. Hearns fought Sugar Ray. I was there. In the seven is the heavyweights. Mm -hmm. Foreman and Frazier and Ali and Norton, Ernie Shaver, they fought. Ain't no ducking and dodging. Ain't no, well, I'm, nah, I ain't fighting him, man. He skipped what has happened. You know what has happened? One of the best things and worst things that's ever happened in boxing was Floyd Mayweather mm -hmm. because they want to protect that old. Yeah. It used to be skipping. We didn't judge the fight. We didn't say, oh, because Muhammad Ali lost the fight, and all of a sudden he's not a great fighter. It's almost like if you lose, your greatness is gone for perpetuity. You never can be great because you lost the fight. Yeah. And so guys ducked and dodged. But man, I'm so happy for this man. I'm going to be there this one. I don't care what it costs, I'm going to be there. See, that's why they go to the finals game to save my money. I knew something big was uh, coming. Really? Yeah, I knew something big was this, coming. This one could cost you. I know, really long. That's okay. I'm good. I saved my pennies. I'm good. I'm waiting on it. Save for a rainy day. It's raining. Okay, scale of one to 10. I'm very excited, but I'm not a 10, I'm a nine. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> why? It took too long. They're still in their prime, skip me good. On and on and on and on and on. It's rival promoters and now they're kind of co-promoters. Right. They're, they're kind of, they're right. kissing and hugging promoters. Mm -hmm. So, Bud Crawford, as you call him, Terrence Crawford is, he, he's going on 36 years of age. He, he's at the back end of right. his prime, but I'm gonna give you his prime. Right. This, this has taken a long time. Right. And Errol Sprint, Spence Jr. has gone through a life-threatening car right. wreck yeah. in 2019, and then he had surgery for a detached retina in August of 21. It, it is career-threatening, I gotta tell you. Yeah. Hopefully, he's going to come all the way back, but those two scenarios took a lot out of him. I, I hope he's what he was in his 20s. Would I have read that these guys have fought at 23 and 25? Right. Sure I would have. Well, Skip, yeah. we would have liked to see uh, 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 Mayweather and Pacquiao oh, well, fight five, six years sooner. They were, Floyd was 38 and then he was 35. Yeah. Okay, well, that's like over the hill time, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's, we, get them, get them like, uh, you know, five years, eight years sooner. Now we got something. Okay. But like you said, it was, both guys, I, I think, I think Floyd was past his prime, and he was. Yeah. So, to me, from what I've seen of Errol Spence Jr., he is the more talented fighter of the two. But the other guy is pound for pound, ranked number one for a reason <laughs> because he's the better fighter. Right. He, well, I should amend that. He's the better boxer. Bar box. He's just the better boxer. That's why this shapes up for all-time greatness. Fights. I got it. I got it. So I'm. I'm with your excitement level. I just, I'm, I'm a little drained from it because it just kept going. It felt like it went on forever yeah. to get to this. Yes, point. we remember we talked about it. You're like, man, when are we gonna see? When are we gonna see Bud and Errol Spence? Yeah, you were out of your mind. Yeah, I'm like, come on, Bud. Why y'all ducking and dodging each other? Y'all gonna wait till one of you guys are 40, the yeah. other guy gonna be 43, and talk right. about, okay, let's have a fight. Okay. Nah, ain't nobody watching that. Ain't nobody watching two old men do anything but play shuffleboard or pickleball. <laughs> so. 
here we are, and now they've made deal after deal upon deal <laughs> to guarantee it could be a trilogy, depending right. on who wins. Right. Certainly if they split the first two, but right. there's going to be a rematch right. no matter what. Right. It's right. already in yeah. ink. Okay. Right? Yeah. And there's already a plan for a trilogy. Well, these things take time because they, 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 they take a year at a time. But it's good right? for the trilogy to happen. The first fight need to be interested. Don't be giving us over, you know, some uh, one four, one fifteen. One, it's a unanimous decision, and no, nobody leave. No, we need some fireworks. We need a uh, uh, Gotti Ward. You know what I'm saying? We need Frazier. We need Frazier Ali. So if you have Gotti Ward, then I'm not sure yeah. you have a second. Yeah, one. Yeah, I'm you know, that's, what, that's what we need. <laughs> you know how trilogies work. We got ain't got to be some blood. Fight fans, welcome back to Luxutainment. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the upcoming boxing fight between Errol Spence Jr. versus Terence Crawford. Spence, who holds WBC, WBA and IBF titles, and Crawford, who holds the WBO title, Technically, this is a 50-50 fight. You've got two undefeated boxers who are both coming off with impressive wins respectively. Spence, more recently, with a 10th round technical knockout stoppage over Ugas, and Crawford, who is coming off a 6th round technical knockout win in December 2022 over David Avanisan to retain his WBC title. Terence Crawford will be 35 years old by the time this fight takes place, with Spence being the younger of the two by three years. It's really now or never for both fighters, who are arguably just leaving their primes but are still top pound for pound fighters. Depending on which sports betting app you're using, the odds makers are giving a slight edge to Crawford over Spence. Spence's last four opponents were Ugas, Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. This tells us he can hang in there with the who's who of boxing and play a physical game of chess down to a tee. In terms of being the more versatile boxer, I see Crawford having more tools at his disposal to cause Spence problems. Crawford is the kind of fighter that takes his time to figure out his opponents, then uses whatever chinks in their armour he sees against them. That being said, Crawford's most recent opponents were Porter, Ame Khan and Kill Brook, all fantastic boxers, but each boxer had its disadvantages against Crawford, to be fair. Terence Crawford still has what it takes even at 35 years old, but the clock is running out for him to cement his name among the great welterweights. The initial fight agreement includes a stipulation that the loser has the right to exercise a rematch. In this bilateral rematch, the winner will earn the majority of the revenue. Fight fans can look forward to not one mega fight, but two and possibly a trilogy. Darren Crawford departed from top rank, leaving the shadow of Bob Arum last year. Less than a year later, we obtain news that the mega fight boxing fans are steaming at the mouth about is finally taking place. While this is merely a verbal agreement, it looks like the real thing. For far too long, it was a subject of debate as to why the fight didn't take place. Bob Arum blamed the promoter, PBC, Al Heyman, on not allowing the fight to happen. And then Crawford blamed Spence for not wanting to fight him. But some boxing analysts felt Bob Arum was holding up what could be the biggest boxing money match for years. The real winners here are the boxing fans who are often dangled the best versus the best with it really happening in time. Unlike other combat sports promotions like the UFC who don't have to worry about sanctioning bodies and politics.
So guys, get ready for the clash of two titans as Errol Spence takes on Terence Crawford in what promises to be an unforgettable fight. I think Terence Crawford beats Errol Spence, however, this will go the distance. So guys, who do you have winning between Terence Crawford versus Errol Spence? Please like, subscribe and comment and have a great day.